I'd like to further ask you uh, regarding the sighting of the moon. Is one allowed to use astronomical evidence um, to sight the moon? Um, after all, isn't that more accurate than using a human witness? As far as using astronomical evidence, astronomical calculation or computation for the sighting of moon, as far as Islamic month is concerned, and the suggestions have been given very often, it's mainly given by those people who have lack of knowledge of Islam. Because as far as astronomical calculations are concerned, they were there even at the time of the Prophet. And this suggestion was not given only lately, it has even been given at the time of the Prophet. And when we read the Hadith, we come to know what the Prophet said about it. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 1913, where Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that we are an illiterate nation and we do not calculate and we do not do accounts, mainly relating to the month of fasting, indicating that we do not use astronomical calculation or computation as far as calculating the Islamic month is concerned. And he said that it's only so and so, and he did thrice, one, two, three. And third time he pressed his thumb, indicating it's either 29 days or it is, he did thrice like that, so and so, indicating it's 30 days. Now, he said that we don't use astronomical evidence, astronomical calculation or computation. And immediately there's one more hadith, which is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2313, where Ibn Umar, may Allah be it is said that he fasted alone, along with the people, and did not rely on the astronomical evidence on the astronomical calculation. From here we come to know that we have to rely only on sighting of the moon with your eyes. That's important. And Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, when the Prophet Muhammad said that we are an illiterate ummah, what he meant was he tried to praise us, praise the ummah, saying that we are simple and we don't rely on anything else but the sighting of the moon with the own eyes. It was not a statement used to put the Ummah down, but to uplift the Ummah, that we follow a simple religion. And Prophet Muhammad purposely did not use this competition because he wanted to be followed by the common human being. And he did not want to let this evidence of whether the month starts or not to be in the hands of a selected few people of knowledge, whether the right or wrong is secondary. So based on that, the astronomical evidence is not used for setting of the moon. Only seeing with the eyes is sufficient for setting of the moon and to rely whether the Islamic month starts or not. Furthermore, it is the lack of knowledge of Arabic and Islam that people suggest such things. And Ibn Taymiyyah further says that the Arabic word hilal, it actually means to see the moon or to announce. And if the moon is there, but if people don't see it, and people don't announce it, then that means the new month hasn't started. Though the moon may be there, but because it's not seen by the people, it's not announced, so it's not started. Furthermore, the Arabic word for month is shahar. It comes from the Arabic word ashar, which means fame. That means unless it becomes famous, or it becomes known to the people, the month hasn't started. Many people think that if the moon is there, irrespective of whether people sight it or not, whether people know about it or not, whether it becomes famous or not, the month has started. No. It should also be seen by the people and it should be made famous to the people. Then the right Arabic word, shahar, that means known to the people, then can we say the Islamic month has started. So based on this, therefore, the astronomical competition, whether right or wrong, it does not take into consideration because people should see it themselves. It should be announced and should be made common. Then the Islamic month starts. I'm sure that that will help a lot of people to understand. Once you've given the derivation of the word, subhanAllah, it makes so much sense. Jazakallah khair.